welcome back so in order to make the switch I mean the switch button to show or to display the hot and ice text like this you need to uh, add some adjustment make adjustment for all of your layout so go click the, the button here and then click code here and uh, look for the switch XML tag here and then you need to add the show text as true okay so you have to add the show text equals true enjoy uh, column show text uh, equals true and then if you run this one you will uh, see the, the, the hot and ice text displayed inside the switch button so the, uh, remember to put the hot and off I, I'm sorry on and off label here okay so um, next one we're going to jump into the exercise question so let's take a look once more the instruction here so we have a spinner the spinner consists of at least five flavor cappuccino latte and so on and in this case since um, we only need only just need the string if you can see here it's it appear here as the string and I think uh, we can just create uh, array of string instead of an object but of course it's all up to you if you want to create an object to contain the, the flavor it's all up to you okay so go back to your main activity in this case I'm going to create the array of flavor there are the array of coffee flavor so I'm going to just the coffee here um, equals array of and then put several things like cappuccino and uh, I'm sorry latte we have americano and we have um, uh, decaf and uh, one two three four uh, only one half should be um, espresso yeah just I don't know I don't know coffee name here so yeah okay let, let, let just like this the next I'm going to populate the spinner by simply create the adapter for it file adapter equals ray adapter and it requires several things first is the uh, context object which is you can simply just write this and second is the coffee uh, I mean uh, the layout and you can uh, use the Android R layout dot symbol uh, list item one and the coffee itself the, the array okay and don't forget to put the drop down layout the drop down layout here using the Android R layout dot simple uh, spinner drop down item and finally you can set it inside the spin coffee dot adapter equals adapter just like so and just hit the play button and we will see the, the result here which is the spinner should be populated with our array of strings this is the result so uh, as you can see here the spinner is populated with our array of um, strings and then you can choose whatever you like okay next uh, for the second instruction initially all additional items options should be unchecked so it's, of course it's unchecked and the radio group therefore is also hidden okay so in this case we can make the radio group here to invisible by clicking the uh, the group name the syrup group name and then you can set it's invisible the visibility um, the visibility attributes to be invisible of course you, you may you may yeah, you may make this one also invisible by of course you have to rename it because we want to make it visible using Kotlin use true coding yeah so we have to rename it also here uh, I'm going to rename it as txt uh, the flavor I mean the syrup 
flavor right so yes and then of course we're going to set it visibility attribute to be invisible next um the instruction say that on the uh, third one this one if the user check extra zero which is this one then display the radio group zero flavor okay display the radio group zero flavor right so i think it's very easy so um we have to add the on on check change listener and only check is extra zero which is um this one and it has this id check zero id so just type check zero dot um on check uh, this one set set on check change listener see the uh, curly bracket here as the as the one we choose okay so we have a button which is the the red the checkbook itself so i'm going to check whether is whether this check zero is uh is being checked or not so we can use this parameter uh, of or or you can directly just simply uh, check it from the object itself so the if check i mean if if this one is check then we're going to set all visibility status in the radio group to be in uh, visible so we just call the, the radio i mean the the zero group okay dot visibility here and change it to uh, visible of course you have to do it the same thing with the the, the, the text the virus flavor text so it's going to have the same codes visible and of course if it's not checked or it false then you have to add else one copy this code put it here and change it to invisible invisible right so hit the play button and see the result i click the extra shape here uh the the programs the application shows the the group of um syrup flavor and i i uncheck it it's disappeared okay um for the next instruction if the confirm button press move to the other activity with layout likes in figure 2 but before we moving on um, we, we have to deal with the, the amount of rupiahs here so in this case you can read here the price of coffee is 2,000 rupiah and 20,000 rupiah and its additional item will add as much 5,000 rupiah okay so it means that uh, whatever cappuccino or americano you choose is always 20,000 rupiah and then if you click or tick check one item here it will add 5,000 rupiah if you check uh, tick all check all means that it's going to be 35,000 rupiah okay so we're going to change this one go back to your layout make sure that your layout here this one the the rupiah here have ID the proper ID so I'm going to change it as the HD um, price and uh, um, and it will it will display 2000 rupiah as default whatever coffee you choose so additional item will add 5000 rupiah so we're going to create a variable here a base price that always 2000 rupiah this one is integer so we're going to display it on screen so in this case we're going to put the txt um, price dot text remember we no need to use set text because this one is not edit text you use add, uh, set text if you work with edit text okay the text the price should be the base price and you have to convert it to string i guess great okay? Don't forget to put the rupiah as the inf, uh, as the prefix of, of the price. So we're going to create something like this, the base price. Alternatively, you can alt enter and convert the concatenation to template. 
it's more like um, uh, more more uh, less code yeah compared to previous uh, codes okay so um, we now working with work with the the, the three the three checkbox here remember um, when I when I show you how to create a uh, one listener one function that can be uh, can listen for several buttons at once so we're going to do that here so click the extra zero here and then find the on click the on click here and then you can add a function or method name to handle this checkbox so in this case we're going to set name like a, a change or zero zero app here zero app zero tag okay zero tag and then uh, use the the same on click on its single item here so the zero tag so um after you do that go back to your main activity and we're going to create the function fun of the zero tag which is always has okay should be like this right and then yeah it goes like this so the view of 